Hey, what's up guys? This is Deepan from TechBrute. Today we're gonna see how to host PFSense get right to it. Firstly, we're going to download the file from the PFSense official site. We're going to extract the file uh, to IMG and convert that IMG file to RAW format. The RAW format is this, the one that's going to come in handy. Uh, we're going to compress that RAW format again to tar.gz. That is expected on the Google Cloud. So we're going to upload the file to the bucket in GCP and we're going to create the image file with the tar.gc we're going to use this to create the instance after that we're going to create the compute instance uh, with the custom image and then we're going to launch the instance pfsense is ready to be installed this is the official site of pfsense we're going to select the right architecture Installers use Memstick and the console is serial. Can I hit the download? It will download the compressed image file. I will, I'm going to extract the file. So that should extract an IMG file. Uh, I would have to convert that to raw format. So this is a command that's pretty straightforward. Just run that command. Make sure that if has the right file name. If equals um, the file name. It's going to take a couple of seconds. Once that, once we have the format, we're going to compress that back again to tar.gz. This is the file. This is the file format that's supported by Google. So after we have the right files. Now it's time to upload that to the GCP cloud. So the you can find the bucket or the the cloud storage option under the storage browser. I already have a file created and I've uploaded the file already. It's the same file. I've, um, make sure you have necessary permissions. If not, we would have some issues when we try to create an image with the compressed file. So once we have the file uploaded and make, made sure that it has necessary permissions, you're going to go back to the options to create the image. You can we can find the options to create an image under the compute engine and then images. So once you're here, we try to hit the create image name it give it any name you like make sure the source is the cloud storage select the file that we uploaded make sure it's the right region if not you won't be able to access the the file so once I'm creating the file it would take a couple of minutes so what I do I, I usually prefer to refresh the page because I don't see the notifications when even after the file is created so I just go back to another page and come back and uh, should should be able to see it so so I'm going going to a different page and returning back and I should see it hopefully yep there it is pfsense245 that's what I'm looking for okay now we have the image file I'm gonna go back let's go create the instance so create instance hit the create instance option name it whatever you like pfsense245 Okay, and the region is North America because I would like to connect that to my VPC and select the boot disk and select the custom image. If you have a list of projects that you're working on, make sure you select the right project because the resources are allocated based on the project. So under the list of images, you would see the option for a uh, image that we created. You can create the hard disk space. Make sure you have a lot of the cloud APIs. 
make sure, yeah, hello, HTTP and HTTPS. I just make sure I check the networking as well to know which VPC I'm connected to. I just have my own custom VPCs. I don't use the. If you have, if you have not made any changes, you will see a default VPC there. So I'm just going to create the instance. It would take a couple of seconds. And uh, on another, another note, um, I do have serial access to the instance. If you have not enabled it, I will attach the command, a GCP console command that can you, that you can use to enable serial console access. So I do have that option. So once I'm going in the instance, I see the option to connect the serial console. Oh, it will take a couple of seconds. So it should probably take me to the serial initial page of PFSense. So this is where we install the PFSense. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.